No question this is a tough job market, and it's not just in the United States, it is all over the world. And there is a new film, a Norwegian film, about someone who has not only great pride about his job, but wants to make sure he does it absolutely perfectly. And in fact, for 40 years, Odd Horton, and that's his first name, O-D-D, -D, a Norwegian train driver, has never missed a day at work, he has never been late for work, he has never messed up at work. He's going to retire after the 40 years with a perfect record. All he needs to get in is one more perfect day. And that's probably all I needed to say to you because the fact that this is a comedy, a very poignant and kind of dark comedy, uh, is something that you have probably gleaned from the fact that there is one more day left for his perfect record. Yes, something does happen to mess up that perfect record, but something even more extraordinary happens to Odd on his last day of work that takes him into directions that we could never have anticipated and directions that as a film we probably wouldn't have imagined for ourselves in a, in a formulaic Hollywood comedy. One of the great things about being able to write a film and not totally worry about fitting into a kind of studio system as this particular Norwegian director whose name is Bent Hamer, by the way, and Bent being his first name is probably another clue to the way the movie works, is he is allowed to take this film into areas and directions that we don't expect. And what happens as the film progresses is that even though it remains funny throughout, we begin to see the world very differently, as does Odd, our central character. It's a film that does speak a universal language about comedy, about poignancy, about hardship, and about love. It's a remarkable piece of work. It's called O. Horton, playing here at the Detroit Film Theater and from the cavernous backstage of the Detroit Film Theater. I'm Elliot Wilhelm.